Hi, welcome to RATH Security. RATH is one of the largest manufacturers of emergency phones in North America, with over 350,000 phones installed in the field. And we're proudly made in the United States. We've been manufacturing emergency phones for over 35 years, and our blue light phone series is of the highest quality. I'll walk you through installing a 9-foot solar-powered blue light emergency phone tower. It will take you less than an hour to unpack, assemble, install, program, and test each phone. We take great pride in our products, which is why we ship all towers in custom reinforced packaging. Tools needed, a socket wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, a 5 16 a 7 16 and a 3 quarter inch socket, a number three Torx bit, which comes with your emergency phone, and a large crescent wrench. Site preparation. All nine foot emergency phones need to be anchored to a concrete surface. You can either install an existing or new concrete. You'll receive a metal mounting template, which will guide you when inserting the 12 inch anchoring bolts. We recommend the concrete slab to be three foot by three foot and eight inches deep leave two to three inches of bolt exposed. In addition to the metal mounting template and anchoring bolts, you will receive an installation and operations manual, a nine foot emergency phone tower, a solar panel tube and strobe, solar panel mounting bracket, solar panel, and a solar battery with the battery support bracket. Safety is paramount in assembly and installation. We recommend you always have a minimum of two people for installation. You wear hard hats, and someone should understand the basic procedures and wiring. We'll now go through the installation and setup. First, you secure the solar tube and strobe to the emergency tower. Attach the solar panel mounting bracket to the solar panel and tighten. Set the angle of the solar panel bracket to 65 degrees. Attach the solar panel and bracket to the solar tube and strobe. Make sure you are mounting the solar panel to face south. Connect the wires coming out of the strobe tube to the positive and negative terminals of the solar panel. If your model has a photo cell, to shut off the beacon during the day, slide the metal bracket to the bottom of the photo cell. If the phone will be near a light source, you may have to partially cover the eye to make sure the light comes on at night. Remove the lower access panel so when lifting emergency phone onto the bolts you have a clear view. Once the phone is on the bolts, tighten down with provided hardware. Now insert the battery holder bracket. Connect the battery terminals Write the installation date on the battery. It's important to keep maintenance log and to ensure that the batteries are changed every two years. Insert battery into the tower and put back the access panel. Open the middle access panel of the emergency phone to access phone programming keypad. The access panel is designed to rest on the emergency phone so you can easily program it to who you want the emergency phone to call and any location message. For programming the phone, see our video on phone programming. After programming the emergency phone, push the emergency button to place a test call. Once the test call has been completed, you have successfully installed the emergency phone. To learn more about communication options, check out our communications video. Thank you for considering RATH Security, and if we can assist in any way, please give us a call at 1-866-850-8854. Thank you and have a great day.